Welcome viewers. Today we're delving into the arsenal of Russian IFVs and tanks deployed by Russia in the Ukrainian war. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Let's roll. Today, we delve into the heart of the Ukrainian war, focusing on the vehicles that have shaped the battlefield. The Ukrainian conflict has seen an array of armored vehicles in action, each with their unique design, armament, and specifications. These machines thrust into the spotlight have played pivotal roles on the front lines. From the Russian infantry fighting vehicles, or IFVs such as the BMP series and the BMDs, to the formidable tanks like the T-series, each has its tale to tell. These vehicles not only reflect the evolution of armored warfare, but also highlight the strategic choices and tactics used in the ongoing conflict. The Ukrainian terrain has indeed become a proving ground for these engineering marvels, testing their metal against each other in real-world combat scenarios. Join us as we journey through the chronology of the armored might that has been displayed on the Ukrainian front lines. Our journey begins with the BMP-1, the progenitor of the Soviet Union's infantry fighting vehicles. Born in the crucible of the Cold War, the BMP-1 rolled off the assembly lines in the mid-1960s, a time when the concept of an infantry fighting vehicle was still in its infancy. Armed with a formidable 73mm smoothbore gun and a secondary 8.3 Saga anti-tank missile launcher, it was designed to provide fire support for dismounted infantry and to engage enemy tanks. Its specifications were impressive for the time, with a top speed of 65 km per hour and a range of 600 km. In the Ukrainian conflict, the BMP-1 has served a pivotal role. Despite the decades that have passed since its inception, this fighting vehicle has proven its worth on the battlefield, showcasing the resilience of its design and its ability to adapt to a modern combat environment. The BMP-1, a pioneering design, set the stage for the evolution of infantry fighting vehicles. It was the first of its kind, a testament to Soviet engineering prowess, and its legacy continues to echo in the armored vehicles of today. Following the BMP-1, the Soviet Union continued to innovate with the subsequent models. The BMP-2, introduced in the early 1980s, was an advancement over its predecessor in several ways. It boasted an upgraded two-man turret, housing a high-velocity autocannon and a coaxial machine gun. The BMP-2 was designed to engage targets at greater distances, thus providing better fire support for the infantry it carried. Moving forward to the BMP-3, unveiled in the late 1980s, this vehicle was a significant leap in terms of firepower and protection. It was armed with a 100mm rifled gun, capable of firing both conventional shells and guided missiles. The BMP-3 also featured enhanced armor protection and a more powerful engine, making it one of the most heavily armed infantry fighting vehicles in the world. In the realm of airborne combat vehicles, the BMD-2 introduced in the mid-80s was a compact yet formidable platform. Designed to be airdroppable, it provided paratroopers with a potent mix of mobility, firepower, and protection. The BMD-2 was armed with a 30mm autocannon, anti-tank guided missiles, and a machine gun, making it a versatile tool on the battlefield. The BMD-4, brought into service in the early 2000s, was a further evolution of the BMD series. It was equipped with a high-velocity gun and a missile launcher, providing a substantial increase in firepower. The BMD-4 also featured improved armor and a more powerful engine, enhancing its survivability and mobility in combat. Lastly, we turn our attention to the BMPT Terminator 2, a recent addition to the Russian arsenal. This vehicle, designed in the 2010s, is a unique blend of tank and infantry fighting vehicle. It's armed with two 30mm autocannons, anti-tank guided missiles and a machine gun. The Terminator 2 is designed to operate in urban environments, providing close support for main battle tanks and infantry. These vehicles, each with their unique design and capabilities, form the backbone of the Russian infantry fighting force. From infantry fighting vehicles, we now move to the behemoths of the battlefield, the tanks. These are not just larger, heavier vehicles, but a whole different breed of war machines. While the infantry fighting vehicles are designed to carry troops into battle, providing them with mobility and protection, tanks are built for a different purpose. They bear the brunt of the battlefront, using their formidable firepower and armor to engage and destroy enemy forces. Their role is not just to support the infantry, 
but to shape the battlefield, to break through enemy lines, and to hold ground. As we transition from the swift and versatile infantry fighting vehicles to these armoured titans, we'll see a shift in focus from mobility and flexibility to sheer power and fortitude. Let us now dive into the world of Russian tanks, where firepower meets mobility. First in line is the T-5455, a tank that has made its mark in numerous conflicts around the globe. Born out of the ashes of World War II, this tank was designed in the late 40s and has since seen extensive use on various battlefields. The T-5455 boasts a formidable armament. Its 100mm rifled gun is a force to be reckoned with, capable of striking fear into the hearts of its adversaries. Complementing this primary weapon is a 7.62mm machine gun, providing a swift response to infantry threats. In terms of specifications, the T-5455 is a middleweight champion, weighing in at around 36 metric tons. It maintains a balance between mobility and armour protection, making it a versatile player on the battlefield. In the ongoing Ukrainian conflict, the T-5455 has been utilised in various roles, from spearheading assaults to providing defensive bulwarks. Its legacy is undeniable, with its design principles influencing many subsequent models. The T-5455 has been a stalwart of armoured warfare, its design echoing through subsequent tank generations. Building on the T-5455's legacy, the T-62, T-64, T-72, T-80 and T-90 have each added to the evolution of Russian tank design. Introduced in the early 60s, the T-62 was the first tank to sport a smoothbore gun, the 115mm U5TS, which greatly enhanced its firepower. It was designed with an improved variant of the T-55's power plant and armor, but with a lower profile, making it a harder target on the battlefield. The T-64, developed in the late 60s, was a significant leap forward. It introduced an automatic loader, reducing the crew size to three, and a powerful 125mm gun. Its composite armor and new suspension system made it faster and more protected, truly embodying the concept of a main battle tank. The 70s brought the T-72 to the fray. This tank was designed for mass production, a response to the need for numerical superiority on the battlefield. Its 125mm smoothbore gun, composite armor, and powerful 780 horsepower engine made it a formidable opponent. The T-72's design proved so successful that it is still in service in many countries today. In the mid-70s, the T-80 entered the scene. It was the first Soviet tank to feature a gas turbine engine, providing exceptional power-to-weight ratio and high speed. The T-80's reactive armor and advanced fire control systems further enhanced its combat capabilities, making it a force to be reckoned with. Finally, we arrive at the T-90, a product of the 90s. This tank blends the best features of its predecessors with modern technology. Its advanced fire control system, powerful 125mm gun, and reactive armor make it a true modern main battle tank. The T-90 also features sophisticated systems for protection against anti-tank weapons, making it one of the toughest tanks on the battlefield. These tanks, each representing a step forward in design and capability, have demonstrated their might in the Ukrainian war. From the BMP-1 to the T-90, we've journeyed through the chronology of Russian armoured vehicles. We've explored the design, armament and specifications of these formidable machines and their various roles on the battlefield. In the theatre of modern warfare, even vulnerable war machines like the BMP-1 and T-55 have been subject to continual upgrades and modifications. These upgrades aim to enhance their performance, survivability and combat effectiveness on today's battlefield. Additionally, electronic warfare systems have been integrated to counter enemy threats, ensuring these vehicles remain a formidable force to be reckoned with. However, despite these efforts, many of these vehicles are beginning to show signs of their age, struggling to keep pace with the advancements in modern military technology. As the conflict unfolds, the question remains, will these upgraded machines stand the test of time on the ever-evolving battlefield? Thanks for tuning in. We hope you found this exploration of Russian IFVs and tanks insightful. Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more captivating content on science and military engineering. Until next time, stay curious.